Hey guys, today we're going to add a um, plugin to this test site that I have. And um, the plugin is called Media File Renamer. And um, this is their page, the plugins page. And um, the reason why we want to rename our files is because I have uploaded on my test site all of this media. Um, and I have not named it correctly. So you can see here 12.jpg, um, 11.jpg. So um, any of the search engines will not be able to, um, number one, find these for people um, who are searching for certain things. Um, they're not going to serve up, um, oh yeah, here's 12.jpg. They can't tell what's in the image. So you have to tell them what's in these images. So this is just SEO um, good practices. Okay, so we're going to go down to plugins and we're going to add a new plugin. I'm going to search for media uh, rename. <clears throat> okay, and this is it right now. Um, we're going to click install and activate. Okay, and now here it is in our plugins folder. I'm going to just move me up out of the way. Okay, so you can access it here. It's um, called Meow Apps. Um, there's a dashboard that has all of their apps, and I haven't tried any of these, so I can't recommend them. Um, here's the Renamer plugin, and here's where we're going to set up all our settings because if you go um, up to the Media Library right now, there's nothing um, showing up. So we want this to show up here so we can um, rename our media. Okay, so I'm going to back down to Meow Apps and Renamer. And um, so we're on the Basic tab. Um, auto, I don't want anything being done automatically. Uh, nope, I want control. Uh, so we're going to go to Manual. We have to enable a rename field and sanitize. Um, I click that because um, it says everything you typed will be sanitized. Um, and what this means is that um, it's going to be in lowercase pretty much. This is what this means. And um, file names should be in lowercase. So that's all that means. Uh, we don't want any AI suggestions. And I think that's pro stuff anyway. In the um, user interface um, tab right here, it says media library. And I want the rename field with all features. All right, I want everything. And um, give me a dashboard too. Okay, and then we can um, click which things we're going to be able to modify directly in the dashboard. I want to modify everything. Okay, and then on upload, um, I have um, clean upload, and that is just that when you upload a new image, if you have not named it all in lowercase, it will fix that. Okay. Um, sync fields. Uh, that's fine. File name. I don't want to synchronize titles or descriptions because I want to be able to put that in myself. Okay, and this AI advanced, nope, we don't need any of that. Okay, so, and there doesn't seem to be a save button on here, so I think it's just all saving as we go. All right, so media um, library, and if we click on media, you see this renamer showed up. Now, if you have not made a backup of your site, will you please stop right now and go and make a backup of your site? Because this is going to be doing a lot of stuff to your site, but you don't want to break your site. All right. So, and I'm talking about um, uh, linking, you know, you, you don't want your images to disappear from your post. So if you have any kind of a plugin conflict or whatever, and you start renaming your images, and then, you know, you have a thousand posts and all of a sudden all the links are broken, you're going to be sad. All right. So um, 
please just stop right now and back up your site. All right. So if anything terrible happens, you can just disregard everything I'm saying and just put your site back and go on with your life. All right. So here's the first um, image and it is, I can't even see what it is really. It's a woman blogging, I think. Yeah. All right. So you can click on it, get a little picture of it. So I'm going to change 12.jpg to woman blogging on her computer. All right. That gives it a nice um, description of what is in that. Now, you see, when I clicked apply, it disappeared. So it's gone over here now. It's gone over to renamed. Okay. So I did this one before, woman on beach. This one is woman blogging on her computer. And you can see that it added all the hyphens for me, which should be done. All the words should be hyphenated. You can't have a space in a file name. So that fixed that for me. Um, you can see that it's um, attached to this particular post, post number 242, which if I click on that, it will show me that. It is not there. So let's figure out why. Blog post four. Okay, and the reason that it pointed to blog post four, when I looked in the back end, it wasn't showing, but it's here in the um, sidebar. This happens to have a sidebar on it. So here's that image. So that's the first place where it's attached. So you need to look at the um, front end of your site. So if you click on read more, there's the blog post. Okay, so they're probably all going to come out like, like that, blog post four, but that's okay. All right, so let's go back. Um, so now when we go to renamed again, um, you can see that there's no alt text, no caption, no description. So if you... Just click on edit. You get a little pop up. You can change the title. And I'm going to change it to um, woman blogging on her computer. And I'm also going to use that for the alt text because it does describe what it is. Um, I'm not going to put in a caption because I don't want a caption to show up on the um, individual blog posts. I would add that in each individual blog post if I want it. Um, and the description, I'm not going to bother with. So I'm going to say OK. And now you can see that it has um, a type. Uh, first is the file name, the .jpg file name. Here's the title. Here's the alt text. OK, so you can see that that's all done. So all you have to do is go through these and rename them so that they match um, whatever the image is talking about. And um, please ignore the fact that I have JPEGs and PNGs on here. This is a test site. They should all be WebP. So um, be sure that they are set that way. And I will go into another video later that shows you how to change them all to WebP if you haven't done that. Okay. Thanks, everybody.